Ashish Mishra. Today we will discuss frequently asked interview questions based on Ohm's law, part 2. So I have already discussed the part 1 questions. 10 questions are there. I will give in the description. You just check it. Today we will start more 10 questions. First question. Resistance of a wire, suppose it is X ohm. Then the wire is extended to triple of its length. Then the resistance will become. Here you can see the note R is equals to rho L by A. So R is directly proportional to its length. So it is extended triple three times. So what will be your answer? 3x. The resistance will become 3x. So answer B is the correct answer. Second question. An electric current of 10 ampere is equal as what? Here is also a note. Mathematically, electric current can be defined as the ratio of charge to time. Charge to time. So what will be your answer? Charge to time second C. 10 C by second. Okay. In which of the following cases Ohm's law is not applicable? Electrolytes, arc lamps, insulators, vacuum ratio valves. Answer C. Insulator. In which of the following case Ohm's law is not applicable? Ohm's law is applicable for conductors and it is not applicable for insulators. Remember this point. Ohm's law is not applicable for what? DC circuit, high currents, small resistors, semiconductors. Answer D. Semiconductors. Ohm's law is not applicable for semiconductors. Conductance is expressed in terms of what? Mo, Mo per M, Ohm per M, M per Ohm. Answer A is the correct answer, Mo. Because resistance opposite is conductance. Reciprocal of resistance is conductance. Unit of resistance is Ohm. And reciprocal of this is Mo. Okay. In a current or voltage relationship graph of a linear resistor, the slope of the graph will indicate what? Here is the note. The slope of the graph is the ratio of current to voltage which indicate the conductance. I to V is conductance. So answer A is the correct answer, conductance. An electric bulb, an electric bulb draws a current of 5 ampere when connected to 100 volt. What will be the resistance? What is given? Given I is given, V is given. We have to calculate the R. We know that V is equals to I F. R is equals to V by I. V is your 100. I is 5. So answer is 20. Answer B is the correct answer. Ohm's law represents the mathematically relationship between power voltage conductance. Ohm Kilo ohm, mega ohm, resistance, voltage and current, all of these above. Resistance, voltage and current because we know that V is equals to IR. Which of the following is ohmic component? Power, force, resistor, all of this. Resistor. Question number 10. How much current will pass through 10 kilo ohm resistor which will produce a voltage of 9 volt across it? So what are the things are given 10 kilo ohm that is your resistance is given 9 volt is voltage is given we have to calculate the current i so we have the formula v is equals to i r so i is equals to v by r so i is equals to v is 9 r is 10 into 10 to the power 3 because 10 kilo ohm is there you have to convert it to ohm because Volt is there, so we have to convert it to ohm. So it will be in ampere. So it is 0 0.0009 ampere. So what is the answer? Answer B is the correct answer. 0 0.0009 ampere. Answer B is the correct answer. So students, if you have any doubt, comment me in the comment section. So I will make you understand. So thank you. Please like, share and subscribe my channel.